Hey everybody, it's Blueberry62 here. No paper from Gary over at paperheads.net. It is his bubble gum. Let's get you a good picture here. Okay. 24 milligrams. I've already have it set up, so now <clears throat> I know my last one I did was the cow milk, and I'm basically um, done through the whole bottle. It's gone. <laughs> but um, some flavors that I got from Gary are not all they fake flavors. The cow milk definitely was. The butterscotch is. The marshmallow is if you like something sweet throughout the day. This bubble gum is not. Really, the marshmallow I wouldn't say is an all day vape. But yeah, some people could have something like that all day. For me, it's not. I mean, I like my tobacco leaf flavors. I like my OY4. I like my Ultra Pure. You know, to me, those are all-day vapes. And yes, the OY4 to me is an all-day vape. But if I go from OY4 to Ultra Pure, I would use something like bubblegum or marshmallow to break up the flavors in between. So I don't get an overlapping of those two. Yeah, it works out very well with the overlapping, but I don't like that. And that's how everybody else is different. And everybody's different, so. I'll take a few hits off of this and I'll go ahead and go into it and since I've already loaded up the cart, I will go for the smell. Anywhere between a Bazooka Joe and a Bullvicious. Then you got that other gum, which I still can't remember the name for it, that is pretty much that's been made and it's supposed to go like a tender against Bazooka Joe, but I know some people will come up with it and please if you do <laughs> know the name, leave me a um, little message on this review. Um, Alright, I need to know the name, I can't come up with it, I can't find it anywhere, it's every time I ask somebody that just draw blanks to, so, but I know somebody out there knows it. At first I'm thinking, Bazooka Joe, then it switches right over to a Bubblicious, then it switches right over to the other one because as the flavor dissipates from your palate, I'm left with that flavor of that one gum I cannot think of. And it usually has the crown, and I know a lot of, um, even a Big League gum, you know, remember that? Um, I don't know if I, I don't remember seeing it around lately, but this is what this reminds me of. I know I used to chew that a lot too when I was younger. So a lot of vapor. Um, it's not bad. It's 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 a very good. I recommend this to anybody that is looking for a bubble gum. Um, again, everybody has their own flavors, and all these reviews that I do is uh, my opinion on the flavors that I do the reviews on. So, you know, if you guys think that hey, you know, I'd be interested in that, go for it. But please, if you like caramel, go for that damn caramel. He makes that was a home run. Um, okay. Smell, I'm going to give it an 8. <clears throat> Taste, an 8. Vapor, I'm going to give it about, ooh, say, 9 on the vapor. Uh, throat hit, I'm going to give it a 7 on the throat hit. And, uh, of course, Gary's customer service, I'm going to give him a 10. Um, go check out his website, www.vaporheads.net. Um, very good. He's a real cool guy. Ask him anything you want. Well, almost anything. And, uh, you know, he'll treat you right. He really will. Uh, he's a new supplier. He's trying to get his name out there. So he sent me all these flavors that I've been doing for him for free. And no, I did not ask for them. He just sent them to me and asked me to do the reviews for him. So I have done them. Um, this is my last flavor for him. So, yes.
Um, that's going to be it for now. It's a uh, quickie for this one. Really, not much to say about the bubble gum. I mean, I could have talked all night for that caramel. Uh, yeah, if you guys are looking for a bubble gum, get yourself something. You know, it, it's it's nice. It really is. It's not an all-day vape. I'm sorry. It's just not. Not to me. It's not. It might be for somebody else, but not for me. But, um, you know what this will be good for if you go between flavors throughout the day? Take a little bit of this. It actually helps to cleanse the palate a little bit. Um, especially if you do like a cinnamon. Uh, licorice is hard. I know licorice, um, people use licorice, but licorice could be an all-day bait for some people. I know that atomic suicide is an all-day bait for some people, but to me, I just couldn't do that. That's just too sharp for, m for my palate, but that's me. Um, that's, and it's bad. It's not bad. So, get yourself some bubble gum. I do recommend this for people out there that are looking for bubble gum or something to help cleanse the palate between certain flavors and this would work wonders for that and I have used it for that. Um, I'm just about three quarters now so because I mainly do use this between flavors of other liquids that I do vape so. Alright, that's going to be it for this review. Alright guys, uh, remember go to www.vaporheads Dot net and uh, check out Gary's uh, little website there. It's pretty cool and um, he's got a lot of stuff on sale. So hi and loose everybody. Be good and um, vape on. Remember it takes one person at a time to get help get the others off the smoking. Spread the word around about all this and uh, see what we can um, <laughs> try and get a lot of people off the smoking. It's uh, it's a much better thing, I think. And uh, that's it. Bye. Have a good one.